Thomas Mitchell. I'm very happy. The story I've chosen is called The Man Who Is Dead by Larry Marcus. I play the dead man of the title, but he's not just an ordinary dead man, no indeed. The manner in which I die and the events that follow it should prove highly unusual, to say the very least. Listen up, I'm a ball player. So you're the ball player. What are you doing here? I'm a rookie pitcher with the stars. We didn't work out at the ballpark tonight because of the heat. But I'll pitch it tonight. It's my first start. That's why I came out here to loosen up. Oh, how delightful. <laughs> Back in Scotland long years ago, I was quite a sportsman too. But my specialties were the a bit more vigorous. Is there something troubling you, young man? Bob, this is the hottest May 25th in history. It's over 100 degrees. I... I read the headlines. Well, then aren't you dying in those uncomfortable clothes? Dying? Oh, no, no. <laughs> Happily, I'm all through with that unpleasantness. Uh, and I'm not a bit uncomfortable. In fact, uh, I'm a wee bit chilly. How can any living man be chilly? Ah, uh, ah, uh, but you see, that's it. I'm not living. I'm dead. I died, let's see. It will be five months the first of June. I died in Hogmanay. It's a very important Scottish holiday. Oh, I see. You see, if I weren't dead, I couldn't have sit here in the park. I'd be shut up in some grimy office. Well, and now if you'll forgive me, I'll go for a bit of a stroll. Goodbye, young man. It was very nice. You do not believe I'm dead, do you? If you say so, Pop. <laughs> you think I'm a crazy old man. Daft, touched. I can tell by your face. Would you like me to prove that I'm dead, Lenny? You tempt me, Pop. <laughs> you really tempt me. Would I have a heater around here? I'm ever so slightly cold. Look, what do you say we forget all about this, Pop? Pop, 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 will you not use that word? My name is Alastair Reeks McRahonish. Well, I suppose it is a odd sounding name, but brave men gone by. Yeah. I bet they have. Well, I am glad to have met you, Pop. Where are you going? To apologize to the nurse for wasting her time. And then I'm going to clear out of here before that Dr. Crane shows up. Okay. You wouldn't be afraid of what the doctor might find now, would you? Goodbye, Pop. And you better get out of here, too, before they call a man with a butterfly net. <laughs> But I'm not the patient, Doc. Your patient's in there. It's a little old man by the name of, uh, Alastair Reeks Ma uh, Mac, uh... Mac Rahanish. You know him? Yes, I'm... I've examined him before. <laughs> but then you know what the little old guy thinks. I know what he thinks. He's really over the books, huh, Doc? I played along with his routine because I'm a ball player. Better will make a cute story for the newspapers. You know, a kindly yarn about an old nut who thinks he's dead. What's the matter, Doc? He isn't a nut. I mean, you know what you're saying, Doc? If he isn't crazy, that... That means he's dead? He isn't crazy. You mean that little old... He's gone. He's not in my office, either. Doc, what is this? What's it all about? Is this some kind of a racket? Man, I'll have you know I'm one of the most highly respected doctors in this city. Look, I don't care how respected you are, Doc. Two and two is still four. I bring you a little old guy to... Yes. All right. In a moment. 
My nurse tells me my waiting room is becoming very crowded. If you'd like to wait, we can discuss this matter further. What's there to discuss? He just told me the little old guy's dead. I told you he's not crazy. Well, if he isn't crazy, he's dead. Isn't that so? I... Isn't that so? All right, all right. If you've got to have an answer, yes. Yes, he's dead. Doc, maybe you're the most respected guy in this whole city. But I don't believe you. Yes, young man? I, uh, I looked up the name in the phone book. It's only one Macrahan is, that's for sure. I'm, uh, conducting a survey. Uh, is the man of the house around? Man of the house? Lady, I'm sorry. And you, you ain't not heard about my illness, dear? No. I... He's dead. Dead? Five months, no. Oh, it hardly seems possible. I'm sorry. I should learn to control myself. It's like a bad dream. The day after Hogman Day, he died. He was buried on a Thursday. Where is Mr. Macrahanish buried? Mr. Kirk at the Temple of Rest handled everything. This is the last resting place of Alistair Reeks Macrahanish. Are you sure, Mr. Kirk? Who could be more sure than I? I understand the clan is arranging to erect a suitable headstone in the fall. I tell you, I saw the little old duck. Of course you saw him. Up here. That wonderfully mysterious place called imagination. But the doctor saw him too. Such things have happened. Call it a dream. Call it fantasy. Call it extrasensory perception. Call it X. Whatever it is. Isn't it best forgotten? It's not that easy, Mr. Kirk. Well, it's been a tight little ball game, except for the one inning Harry Frazier pitched. The young rookie walked six men in a row and then walked himself to the showers. Tough game, Frazier. My condolences. We all have our bad nights. Me, I'm a fighter, K.O. Cranton. You ever hear of me? Can't say that I have. 22 wins, 12 by knockouts, four in the first round. Congratulations. Is there something special you wanted to see me about? Something very special. You're to come with me. What makes you think you can barge in here and say, come with me and I'll do it? Like I told you, 22 wins, 12 by knockouts, four in the first round. That's a pretty good reason. All right, Frazier, in. In. They're in the living room. Come on. Welcome back, young man. It's nice of you to... Dr. Crane. Yes, Mr. Fraser. And Mr. Kirk of the Temple of Rest. Yes, Mr. Fraser. Mr. Fraser, you must try to understand our position. If this gets into the papers, we... now, Mr. Fraser. Albert, I will do the talking. Go into the kitchen, put up the kettle for tea. But do as I say, Albert. Yes, Mama. Mama? Did he call you? Just don't ask so many questions. Yes. Will you stop being so tough? I must say, I think it would have been much nicer if you had developed a bit less brawn and a bit more brain. But, Mama... Mama? Go and put a few butter scones in the oven and watch the dinner burn. Now, Scott. Yes, Mama. I know this must be extremely confusing for you, but believe me, there is a rational answer. Franklin, will you please join your brothers? But, Mama, you should have me with you when you explain these things. No. You would only use big doctor's words and nobody could understand you. But, Mama, if this becomes no... What's all the confusion about? How can I hear my music? All this shouting going on. Is there no peace? 
even for the dead? We're sorry, Father. But... Aye! In my lifetime, I saw none of you. And now that I'm dead, you crowd round me and scream like hungry vultures. Well, let's tear. Uh, let's tear. You'll not be disturbed again, dearest. Now, please come down, for my sake. Oh, for your sake, my sweet, I'd wrestle dragons. I'd hurl hammers across the British border. Well, then, will you please go back to your room and listen to your records, to the old song? Oh, uh, but, Annie, they sadden me. Sadden you? They do. Truly, they do. When I listen to them, I see the birches and the glens, the tumbling streams, the wine red moors, and the blue hills. And I feel so badly that I died before I went back for a final look. But perhaps I'll go out on the porch for a breath of air. Mama. It's all right. You won't wander away, will you? Not if you say so, honey. <laughs> the young baseball player. Hi. Hi. We Scots have a song for everything. Blow on the boat, digging the earth, smothering the hearth fire for the night. And somehow they're always rather sad. Uh, don't you think they're a bit sad, Mary? Very sad. I thought you'd agree with me. He should have stayed in his room. He'll be all right. Now, will you please join the others? Alastair really is dead, you know. Now, oh, Mrs. McRahanish, you're not going to try and tell me that he's really dead. Dead. Dead as dead can be. And if you listen to it, I'll prove it to you. Well, we certainly didn't think it would end like this when Alastair and I brought the family to America in 1924. Oh, we love this big, free, wonderful America and bless the day we came. But that doesn't mean we cannot still cherish and love the old country, too. The customs, the songs, the dances, the stories. No, does it? Of course not. My sons have done very well here. Oh, the prize fight. <laughs> That's a passing thing. Ah, but soon, Alistair and I you know how it happens. The children go their own way. They forget their father even exists. If the boys and their wives and the grandchildren come over every two months, we think we're lucky. We're all alone. Oh, it's a terrible feeling. But certainly we thought it would be different on Hogmanay. Hogmanay? He mentioned that. What is it? Oh, that's the most important Scottish holiday of the year. It falls on December the 31st. On oh, New Year's Eve? Aye. And all the sons and daughters-in-law and little bairns come to celebrate the great day. And, of course, you're busy from the crack of dawn. Oh, there's so much to do. So very much. an old man about to make a fool of himself. But if you ask me, I must say the father has forgotten as much about the old country as his sons. Now, since when does a man dress like that for Hogmanay? But when it's part of the theory I've been telling you about. Give them the whole kitten caboodle at once. It's a way of saying, love the things you have new. 
But don't you ever forget the glory of yesterday. It will never be dead while you cherish it. Uh, you answer it. I still got work to do. All right. <coughs> McLahan is here. Oh, <laughs> hello, Frank. How are you? Uh, Edna, good. And how's the doctor business? Don't charge too much and give them your very best. <laughs> huh? Oh, that's part of being a macaronish. Of course we're expecting ye, didn't you, Mr. Corley? Uh-huh. Aye. Of course I know it's New Year's Eve. Oh. But we were expecting you to drop by here on your way to your other affairs. Oh, we have a wonderful day. If I insist. When did I ever insist? Surely. Surely. I understand. No, Neil. We didn't invite you to just drop in and say hello and goodbye. We invited you to spend the entire evening. And if you cannot spend a few hours with your father on Hogmanay, well, then just don't bother to come at all. Spend your time with your prize-fighting friends. Well, if I sound angry, it's because I am angry. Good night. They say he has a powerful uppercut. A fine record. Twenty-five wins. Twenty-two. Fifteen of them by knuckles. Twelve. Three in the first round. Four. Ah, ah, we have not completely forgotten, Annie. Albert remembered this. Albert and his missus. Uh, I'll answer the door. Oh, oh. Surely, Annie, you remember the old customs. The first of the door on Ogmanay gets a drop of ale and good luck for a year. Which in the case of an undertaker is bad luck for a lot of other people. Rest their souls. Coming, Albert, coming! Macra. <laughs> uh, Macronish? You, you're close enough. It's Macronish. Just sign right here, please. Thank you. Dear Mother and Dad, Happy New Year and many of them. Albert and Fran. He didn't even remember there was a party. Ahead of you. I've got all eternity ahead of me. Call my sons. Tell them their father is dead. Dad, this is nonsense. You're as sound as a dollar. You, I won't need any more. Nice funeral. Will you stop talking like that? Oh, but there's got to be a funeral. I can't just sit here a dead man. Can I have tartan robes, plumed horses? Oh. Mama, he'll be all 
all right. Mama, please. Mama, don't worry. Sometimes happens to a man of his age. Might be only temporary. He might snap out of it in a couple of days. Then again, it could be months. No, I think the best thing to do is to arrange to put him into a good, quiet sanitarium where... No. Have you forgotten who your father is? A Macrahanish? But, Mama, there's no time. Think what would happen if the news got around that one of the very best Alistair Reeks Macrahanish had gone, gone crazy. I can arrange to keep it quiet. Oh, no, 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 the news would get out somehow. Mama, this is ridiculous. It's no sin to be crazy in the 20th century. But, Frank... Couldn't you take care of him right here in this house? Well, I suppose... Well, maybe I can. Mama, look. Alistair! Alistair! Alistair, where are you going? And where can a dead man go? Except to walk the streets. Dad, look. Maybe you'd better not go out. Why not? Oh, maybe... Maybe you are dead. Like you say. So, oh, you'll admit it, Neil. And if I am dead, why haven't you buried me? Dad. Strangers you'll bury, but your own favor. No. All right, Dad, all right. I'll give you a fine funeral. The best of everything. Tartan robes? Yes, yes. Plumed horses? Well, Dad, I'll try to get you plumed horses, though they are considered a bit old-fashioned. Who's being buried? All right, all right, plumed horses. If only you'll stay in the house. And you, place fighter, get me some tea and some bottled scones and be quick about it. Yes, father, right away. Okay. That dead bun was an appetite. Now, isn't that something to pawn the ribbon? Oh, <laughs> And that's how it all happened. That is how Alistair died. For when you kill a man's spirit, when you stop loving and respecting him, then a man like Alistair Reeks Matrahanish is really dead. And so, Mr. Fraser, you know everything. We're at your mercy. Can we ask you, plead with you, to, to respect our misfortune? Was there ever a funeral? Certainly not. We only told him there was. And the grave? Someone else's. The only important thing is, will you keep our secret? As far as I'm concerned, it's just something that happened up here. Something called X. Young man. Aren't you going to say goodbye to me? Sure. Of course. unusually warm. Why, you all fake. You're not crazy. You know you're not dead. Let me put it like this. When I was alive, Miller and I were like a pair of discarded old shoes. I thought it was not a good feeling, laddie. But now that I'm dead, oh, oh. <laughs> the boys come to see us constantly. There's always something exciting going on. To sum it up, you might say, since my recent death, I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> 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 